You'll probably need the rule book. Yep. I'll take purple even though she always has the same actions. Or should I'm thinking I take red? Red is all war. Oh. I don't want to do all war. Okay. Or do I want to do all war? <laughs> it might make this stream a little more interesting. Because I'm not normally an aggressive player. Um, I'm going to take whatever you choose. I'm going to take the other player boards. Mix them up upside down and just take one. Oh, okay. And see what color I get. Hey, Jinx, I gotta check the... Well, why uh, don't you just do that for both of us? Sure. Even though... Purple's so pretty. I like playing with pretty colors. Uh -huh. We are still live. Do we have viewers? Um, I can't tell because it doesn't show on this little tiny... Oh. Stupid little thing. Okay. If we have viewers, say hi in the chat, and then we'll know if we have viewers. Yeah. Maybe this will work. Yeah, apparently we do have some. Oh, hello, viewers. We have some viewers. That's awesome. We said we wouldn't put these on YouTube, but I'm thinking maybe we might. Yeah. Just because we did have a lot of Twitch archived and when we logged in we realized that they're all gone so I wouldn't want to lose all our live plays here we go no losing live plays that wouldn't be good although I won't edit them I'll just maybe take off the beginning when we're trying to figure out how to set up yeah the actual streaming program yep. yeah and when we're streaming it records onto our computer anyway yeah so I can just chop that off Upload it. Put a title page on it and upload it, yeah. 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 I could even, because it's very easy, like, to tweak the sound and the color to make it a little bit better. Yeah. Yeah. Might as well, because it would be a but quick, easy. we'll leave in all the AP and we'll leave oh, in yeah. all the cat shenanigans. And <laughs> that's normally the stuff we'll the we cat shenanigans. E edit out. Yeah. And uh, if I call you a dingus or something, I'll probably edit <laughs> that out. But No. Can't be editing all that stuff out. Sometimes I do if it makes me sound dumb. Okay. All right, so we'll leave that there for now. Well, we don't need it right in our faces. No. Um. So I'm gonna. I guess I'll just take the random one and see what happens. Okay. So make here are. More interesting. Here are the six boards. Choose one. What if we get? What if I get purple? I have yellow. Yellow. Nice. He looks like Genghis Khan. They are traders, merchants, and they're all about getting the victory points. I like victory points. Oh, I was green last time. I am blue. I almost took that one instead of this one. Uh -huh. But it belongs to me. I am blue. All of the blue belongs to you. Yep. All right, Let's so see. then yellow. There's your starting land my starting land the rest can go in the box so I'm gonna get rid of the box are we gonna start on the easy side or the harder side um, I figure we might as well just start on the the harder side like the the ability the race stuff. specific because it'll be cooler okay there we go all right so oh, yes, that stuff comes up later cards. this we'll just put down here for now and okay. then we'll, that's what we'll do next is we'll set up the board so, uh, setting up the board in Hyperborea, first of all, you start off with a random center tile. Mm, this one. Okay. Which you don't flip over and look at. <laughs> <laughs> this one. <laughs> That's better. It's like I never played it before. <laughs> well, this is only the third time we played Hyperborea. Yes, but still, I should know well enough not to turn over the center oh, tile. Okay. Well, that's funny, though. All right. Um, next, we spread these out. And the first two times we played, it could be that we're just not used to playing Hyperborea and we're still figuring it out, but it did seem that... You ran away with the lead. Yeah, and the first time I didn't. Yeah. 
and I don't know if you ran away with the lead or if it was just, but there seemed to be like, I would expand out of my homeland and the first game you found stuff that really helped you and I did Oh didn't. yeah, these tiles that are here. Yeah. yeah. So if that seems to be a trend, I already figured out like a, like a house rule where we could um, actually draft the starting tiles. Oh, draft the starting tiles. Yeah. And it's almost like... And then mix them up or something. Yeah. So pick one and then draft and then pick one. And then when we have them, you would know basically what tiles are just outside your homeland. And you would know what tiles are just outside your homeland. Mm -hmm. And we'd have a vague idea of what each other has. Well, that seems premature because we have only played the game twice. I know. I know. Just something I was thinking about because it seemed like it'd be cool and it'd make it, it less random. It does seem cool, yeah. Drafting's a popular mechanic, so... Yeah. so it would we... make all the drafters out there very happy. After we play Hyperborea a couple more times and see if it really is something. Yeah, there we go. Because you can still reach that, right? Does it matter if we... Because now you're going to be really close to me. No, I was just looking at the camera. Oh, okay. To see. Oh, you mean like I would put mine there. Well, no, actually mine's better that way. Okay. You can see it better. Yeah, like so. Good. Excellent. Having them right next to each other like that makes them look like they're friends. They're not friends. I know. We're not friends. <laughs> He's got a dagger there. My ready, blue. Ready to. Your yellow. Oh man, El yellow's so <laughs> ugly. <laughs> so you're like queen of the ugly people? I don't know what to say. <laughs> next. So you'll have to tell me what the difference is between these two cards so I can pick them. Yep, yep. And does it matter? There's little shields on one, or like icons on one of the defense, or whatever these are called again, fortifying tokens, and mm -hmm. one side's blank. Um, it does not matter. Really? I think... Why would they put that like that, then? I think there might be some cards that uh, want you to use this side. Mm -hmm. And it corresponds to that specific color. Yes. But that's the only thing I... And we haven't run into anything that does that, so... I haven't really been so worried about it. So we don't know yet. Yeah. Okay. Really have not been worried about it. I was just curious. Yeah, that's fine. Man, there's a lot of defense tokens. How many you got? Where's my yellow? Oh. I have a lot. I have two, four, six, eight of them. Yep, there should be. I know, we don't use them very often. But yeah, there is supposed to be eight. Stupid yellow. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be like a running I, theme the whole time we play. I don't know. Just hurry up and beat me because I don't like being yellow. I should have something I could dress them up with so that they're like get little pink skirts or something on them. Yeah. <laughs> little pink skirts for your yellow miniatures. My yellow men, yeah. What's he got there? Oh, he's got like a scroll a s yeah. and a dagger. Cool. He's fierce. All right, so I am playing the Celestial Rain. Um, let's see. They are secluded. They What they make up... They make up for their missing numbers with the strength of their techno wizardry. They're able to conjure and bend the very forces of nature. That's They're actually you? the very forces of elements. Yeah, this is me. They're looking for hidden knowledge and new technologies. Uh, while they are led by a celestial king, the office is granted through elections held every four years. And blah blah blah. Flavor text. Flavor text. Flavor text. What about me? We are techno wizardries. Uh, you are the golden barony. Most of the territories Baron outside Messi. of. There you go. Most of the territories outside of Hyperborea are actually desert, which made survival difficult. So you are in charge of a nomadic tribe skilled in both trading and fighting. Hmm. They are incredibly skilled diplomats, crafty warriors, and natural leaders. Dun, dun, dun. Interesting. Yep. So one of the cool things with uh, Hyperborea is it's kind of color-coded. 
So for everything on the board, technology and, and, and you know actions and the colors. So I'm playing blue and the blue color is for like science and technology. So that's kind of my power and yours Yikes. being gold is all about getting the victory points. It's all about the pink, but the pink, but the pink. That's not what I said. I know. <laughs> but for me it is really usually. True. Yeah. And the purple. Mm-hmm. And the All right, and here are the special abilities that you can choose uh, between for the Golden Barony. Yeah. So this one right here, mm -hmm. you start the game with two victory points. That's it? That's it. That's the awesome power that you can start with. But the other one looks really not fun too. This one is you can sacrifice a victory point to generate one of the following effects. Um, one attack, one fight, two, two movement, move, three a triple development. development. Yep. Or three cubes three from the bag. Three cubes from the bag. Yeah. But it costs you a star. Every time you do it. Those don't seem like very exciting powers. I'm not very excited about these powers. Well, this one, you don't have to worry about giving up. This could get you out of a j tough jam. Could get me out of a jam, yeah. yeah. This one... Um, it's only two victory points. Two victory points, which you is you a 15. little bit... Yeah, a little bit of a leg not up Not a 15. huge lead, though. No. And it only happens the one time. Yep. You start the game with two victory points. <sighs> only happening one time. Nope. Okay. I'm not taking it. Oh, Play yeah. Back? Yeah. Back Might as well throw it in there and I'll throw it in the box. Okay. Uh, the Celestial Rain, I have a choice between. Um, I start the game with an advanced technology and I either choose alchemy or diplomacy. Yeah, yeah. But it doesn't count towards one of the end conditions is to have five advanced cards. It doesn't count. But does it give you the points at the end for it? That is a good question. Because if that's the case, if you get two points hmm. in the end from having that card, then maybe I should take this two point thing. Well, maybe the specific cards are only one pointers. Maybe. I'll check. This one, um, anytime the player generates a science effect, they then generate for free a two extra cubes out of the bag. A science effect is like taking cards? Yeah. Wow. Now he's way more powerful, I think, than this yellow man, mm. but we'll see. Yeah. And that's another thing is I've been reading on the Board Game Geek and there's a couple there's a couple of threads about the powers and how they don't they're not balanced or they're, some of them aren't useful, but I don't know. It's only a but third time. But then also playing. because remember how we were talking about how like these ones that we got out of our house were really powerful and then I kind of got the game. Yeah. Like maybe that, maybe the unbalancedness of the players no, yeah. balances that out. Maybe. Unless you get a super powerful player and then two super powerful tiles right there. Yeah. Which that yeah. would be way overpowered. But anyway, we shall see how it goes. Yeah. So the first thing I want to do real quick just before I choose this, because that's what i got to do next is choose this, is I've got to... Find those two cards and see if they're one or two po um, point cards. Um, while I'm can, doing that... I can look at some of the cards, too, for those as well. Oh, you want me to separate all the goodies? Yeah. My resource awesome. bucket. That would be awesome. Okie dokie, I can manage that, I think. And I was looking for diplomacy... And alchemy, and I alchemy. think. Alchemy. Alchemy sounds intriguing. Yeah, that does sound pretty cool. This is going to wreck our sound. Oh yes, and remember we traded out those power cubes for me so I could have pink ones? Yep. I'm going to put those in there too. There's alchemy. Might as well play with the cute stuff. So alchemy is a one point card. And for one blue cube, I get to take a cube out of the bag. Then I get to take one cube that's on my board somewhere and get rid of it and replace it with another cube of any color. That's all sorts of craziness. So that's alchemy. Diplomacy. Do you want me to just uh, hold off on these for now? I don't know if we need another resource cup. Diplomacy is also no points at the end of the game. This must mean it's quite powerful. One blue cube, and I get to draw three 
cubes out of the bag. And then all players adjacent to me get to draw one cube out of the bag. That's always me. Or whenever I get a new card, I get to take two cards out of the bag. Hmm. I'm thinking I might just go with that. Instead of starting Sounds off with kinda these. kind of powered. Like powerful? Yeah. Sounds good to me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go with power. So I'm not going to do starting off with a card. Ability. Now, what were these for again? Those are the end conditions. So, there's three oh. conditions that end the game. And they are when somebody gets their fifth advanced card or their science card, when a player has all ten of their people out on the board, and when they have, for a two player game, 15 victory point stars. Um, for a short game, you play until one player has gotten one of them. For a medium game, you play until two of them have been achieved, and for a long game, you play until three. Okay, let's just play with one. Um, you want a long game? Not a long game, but I was thinking just medium. Try a medium? Yeah, because so far we've just played short games, mm -hmm. and suddenly the game ends, and it's almost like if it could keep going, there'd be a little bit more back and forth. True. So that, that, that might be something to do. So I'll put these just here. And say on your turn you get all of your um, characters out on the board, mm -hmm. then you get to take that condition, and then if one of your dot, like one of your characters dies, you don't lose it. Hmm? Like you get all your guys on your turn, you get all your oh. guys, so you get that. And then it's my turn because the game hasn't ended. I kill one of your guys. You don't lose it. It's it's like an it's an achievement. Okay. And we keep playing until one of us gets two achievements. Yeah. And I guess I'll keep the resources here. Okay. And we should probably get little cups for these ones. Um, we shouldn't need them so much. Because right now there's going to be... Oh, wow. That's cool. You get two silver. I only get two beige. Good. That's kind of nice. Here's the beige ones. Okay. Because I'm going to put two beige out and then... I They're probably it's... bronze. Bronze, okay. silver, and gold. I'm just going to double check. I think it's two. Okay. Maybe it's three. Maybe it's 17. I don't think it's 17, though. No. <laughs> <laughs> Two random rune tokens on every visible rune space designated. Okay. Okay. On the central hexagon are going to be three golden runes on every rune space. What did you Other say? Other than it's two. Um... When we reveal this, if there's oh. any runes there, it gets three gold. Oh, okay. Golden. Golden ones. ones. But other than that, it's two. So I'll just put these off to the side for if we when we need them. Yep. And a ghost goes on it, right? Nope. Um, they only come out here. Okay. Yeah. In the homeland spots, there's no, no ghosts. Okie dokie. So that should be all oh, of these Oh, and we get made. one cube of each color. Yep. Score pad. And I guess you probably want a blue one for your... Yeah! I'll take a yellow one, I guess. Sounds good. Yeah, because I want to get a lot of victory points. Yeah. To spend them, or to not spend them. Okay. To spend them or not to spend them, that is the question. So Hyperborea is like a, a cube builder or a bag builder or what else do they call it? Someone had a really good one they didn't a want to say. A pouch builder? A pouch builder. Pouch builder. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, this represents like my society or my civilization. And in it, um, there is one cube of each color, and each of the cubes represents kind of a, a certain technology or a certain drive for that people. So blue is for technology and advancement. Yellow is for the victory stars, so it's kind of like commerce and trade and stuff. Uh, orange is for development, which I'll, I'll explain the development in a sec. Uh, red is to attack and kill stuff. Purple is to expand your population by putting more people on the board. 
green is movement and then you get one of each and you get to choose one of whatever color you want so I'm going with blue and you're going with yellow yeah they go in the bag and then we get to move some of these as well yeah so this is kind of how you develop uh, your civilization um, each of these colors you move them as you develop them and when they go over this first line you can reset them and get one cube of that color or you can get all the way to the end reset them for two, two. so what we do is we start off with one at level three one at level two and one at level one I think that's how we did it the last <laughs> yeah, I'm time pretty sure. so one at level two three and level two and one at level one there we go so you're going for more gold movement and a little bit of aggression mm -hmm. which makes me worry I'm going for advancement um, a little bit of commerce because I would really like to do this a lot and movement right so that's set up and I wonder if we should have flipped over those cards there because that could have first that could have uh, these here influenced how we I don't know chose. I'm not sure but it doesn't matter I'm not sure if you're supposed to do that I... first or afterwards because yeah it would kind of influence. not an expert yet so yeah I'm just gonna wing it. So your home city, you put someone in there, and you get a movement and one development. Development, and then you got a city outside that is a movement or a development, and then you got a ruin that has two silver, which is kind of cool. I've got a ruin with two bronze. I got a movement and a development from my home city, and then I get a movement or an extra cube out of my bag. Oh my! Yeah, I don't like that at all. That's kind of cool. And don't you have something else? Yeah, that stupid, every time you get a card, you get an extra cubes. Oh, yeah. Now, where can we put these, I guess? Yep, there's going to have to be the spot. Yeah. And then two of them come out. Okay, that's deck one. There's four decks. Deck oh. number one is uh, red and green, so it's about aggression and movement. Deck number two is purple and yellow, so advancement and growth. Deck three is blue and orange, so advancement or development and technology. And then four is multicolored and gray. And every time you get one of these, you get a gray cube, which is like a wasted cube. You can't use it for anything, but if you get some advanced technologies, you can actually spend some gray cubes, which is kind of cool. One of these gray cubes is disproportionate. Yeah, some of them are a little off, unfortunately. Now, I'm wondering if I move these over here and these somewhere else, if I can move these over. Or maybe I should be doing this because I'm putting the one, two, three, four backwards, which is kind of weird. Yeah, they'll, they'll be on camera there. Right there? Yep. Okay. All right, so three, and then I think all of them will be there. So from deck number one, we have Citadels, which is a one-pointer. At the end of the game, you get points for the different technologies. One red cube will give you two fortifications. Oh, well, that would get some of these used up quick. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Um... Fortifications make it harder to attack, obviously. It would take you two hits instead of one. Take you three if you had two fortifications. Oh, you can fortify someone twice? Yeah, I think so. I'll double check. Uh, then there's a phalanx, and it's a red and a multicolor, and it gives you one fortification and one attack, and that's two points. From deck number two, we've got expertise, and it gives you, it's a one pointer, it's two blue cubes, but they stay on there for the entire game. Mm hmm. And every round, uh, at the beginning of your round, you draw one extra cube. And I got that last time and I was playing it wrong. Oh, okay. I was pulling four cubes out of my bag. You pull three, and then at the beginning of your turn, you pull one out. Oh, okay. So. Why would that make a difference? So you can't I think just plan planning. as much? Yeah, I think just planning. Because, I mean, it doesn't take you that long to figure it out once you draw your next cube. True. For number three, we've got infiltration. So blue, orange, and another and you get to spy. Spying is interesting. With a spy action, you look at what technologies the other player has, and you can use one of them. 
You don't have to put cubes or anything on it. You just like, you know what? I'm going to do that. And then you get to pull a cube out. University is one orange and it's permanent. And every round you get one free development. That's fancy. Yeah. I like that. Schnazzy. Um, I also, when looking at the board game geek the other day, um, found out that there is a rule change since the oh, games come out. Really? That's tricky because if people don't look at the geek, they're not going to see these yeah. rules changes. And basically what it is, and I actually followed the thread because a lot of people complained at first, and a lot of people complained with the same kind of concerns I had. And after like the second page, a lot of the people that were complaining very quickly changed their mind and said the new rule's better. And what that is is um, when you... When you reach in your bag and you pull out the cubes and your bag has no cubes left at all, they're just empty, you take your round as normal with whatever cubes you happen to have left, and then at the end of your round, you do a reset. You take all your cubes, you put them in your bag, and then you draw and you do a new round. What you could do before is um, any cubes that were on unfinished spots, you could just leave. Now you can't. Oh, really? Yeah. So you... It was a good strategy to put a cube on a spot and then reset, but now you can't. So if you can't complete it before you reset, it's like a wasted action. So it makes it a little bit more tighter is what people say. It would, yeah. for sure. And a lot of people were upset by it. That's and then tricky. They say after you play with the new rule, well, we'll it's use very... Well, we the new rule. Yeah. For sure, but... Oh my... Because it's like pulling out, like say you pull your three cubes, but you can only use two. It's like you only had two cubes left in your bag. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's tricky. So you got to plan out what you're going to do better, a little okay. bit better. Um, so I'll explain a yeah, little bit of what you can do. I or... can't cube count, so it puts me at a disadvantage. Yeah. It's going to be tricky. Yeah. There's actually a file on the Board Game Geek where you can download a piece of paper and you can count, like, cube count. Oh, really? Yeah, because in the rules... Is that a strategy? In the rules, you're not allowed to go in and look to see what you have left. You can count how many cubes you have left, but you're not allowed to see what they are. Right. And And yes, um, when we, like, the very beginning of the game, when there's so few cubes, I find counting the cubes and knowing what's going to come out next, mm -hmm. very easy. Once they develop until there's a lot of cubes, I don't find it so easy. No, I can't at yeah. all. But apparently the, you can download this file and print it off and you can just cube count. Oh, I got a, another blue cube in there. This round, this one's a little bit... Oh, next round I'm going to get these three cubes. It's funny, but I uh, would never do it. <laughs> to sit there well, and I spend just, all that time. I feel like... No, no, I guess. Because say, like for me, I admit, I can't cube count or card count or anything. Mm. So it would put me at a disadvantage. Yeah. So that piece of paper chart thing would put me on a level playing field with someone who can cube count. Yeah. But I feel if it's not a skill that you have, then maybe you shouldn't utilize it. Yeah, it is. It's weird. I don't know. I don't know either. Yeah. Anyway. I just wouldn't want to take the time to do that. That mm -hmm. seems odd. Well, we're taking the time now to discuss it. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we begin playing? We should be. Playing. So we start off by drawing three cubes from the bag. All right, we've got. Did we determine who goes first? Yes, I was the first player. Didn't we? How did we determine that? I can't remember. No, that was Quantum. You said I was the first player. Yeah. First player is. Let's consult the official book. Randomly choose the first player. <laughs> you're playing yellow. I'm playing yellow, and you're playing blue. Yep. I just you close your eyes and pick one. Okay. Did you mix them up? Well, you can mix them up now. Your eyes are closed. Yeah, but I can tell which is which. Did you mix them up? How can you tell which is which? Well, no, I can't tell which... I can... Never mind. <laughs> Just mix them up. <laughs> like, if I thought one was yellow, mixing them up wouldn't do anything because I would still think that other one was yellow. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this one. Okay, you're the first player. Go. Good. <laughs> <laughs> that made sense. Well, I guess... Funny. I didn't understand that you saw them. Yeah, I saw them when you like put them in. Yeah, and good. Anyway, doesn't matter. <laughs> Let's see. 
So we're just starting right away. Yeah. Uh, Willy nilly. Yep. Charlotte's turn. She's got her three guys on the board. Um, basically, she can do as much as she can for actions and stuff. Uh, it's a free action to kind of move your guy into a city or a ruin or anything like that. And, and you can move all three on the same round, right? Oh, yeah. Um, but once you're inside a city or a ruin, you're locked in there until your next reset. So it kind of, they're working that city or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you got to spend your three cubes, and what you do is they're all color-coded, and what you, where you put your cubes... They stay there until you reset, and whatever you kind of fill in is the effect it's going to generate. And the cool thing, one of the things I really like about the game is, if Charlotte does this and generates uh, a movement and a development, and then spends her cubes for more movement or an attack, she doesn't have to spend those things as she generates them. She can wait until they're all generated, and then spend them all in any, like, any um, order she wants. Which is kind of cool. Well, I think what I'm going to do first is put him in there. Yep. And I'll, <clears throat> excuse me, mm -hmm. I'll move him there. Yep. And I get a development. Yep. So let's just get some yellow. Nice. And then I'll put him in there to move him there. Nice. And I can develop something else. So I might nope. as well. It's one, uh, each, oh, one either or, or the other. Yep. For that I still just move him in there. Yep. But you can move him in there to get a silver one now. Because that's free. Right, Good. I was thinking I had to fight. No, nope. no ghosts. Awesome. Now, little discs are kind of like you search the ruin and get something. We don't know what they are. I don't know what it is. And it just goes there and you can use it whenever you want. It's, it's like a one-shot one bonus. And you haven't even used any of your cubes. I know. So I'm just going to use this right away. It was a purple cube for that. Well, no, you get a purple cube in your bag. Oh. I'm pretty sure. Oh, I thought it was just I, I used it up for something. Nope. Take a cube from the reserve and immediately place it into your bag. Okay. So you just that's, gained growth. That's just awesome. That is pretty cool. Oh, wait. That gives me a movement. I don't want a movement. But it also generates a dude here, mm -hmm. which you could generate the guy there and then move him. And then move him. Yeah. Oh, and we forgot this. As soon as you're adjacent to one of these, they flip over because the fog of war is lifted and you can see what's there. So while you're figuring out what you're going to do, I'll... I'm still gonna going to do it, right, because I'll generate him and then I'll generate him here. Yep. And I'll put him here. Good. So we need three ghosts. That's a lot of ghosts. So we got this city here with a ghost, that city with a ghost, and some really awesome stuff. And then we get two silver. Wow. My next action is going to be to... It's a blue one. I think I'm just going to put it here, and then you can go. Okay. Um... Just before I move on, just these here, these are both forest tiles. Uh, moving into a forest region costs an extra movement point. Moving out of a forest region... Um, no, it's just when you move into a forest region, it costs an extra movement point. Moving out of a swamp costs an extra movement. And moving into or out of a mountain, both of those cost an extra movement point. You're going to have to remind me because I'm going to yeah. forget. So just... Yeah, like going from here to here doesn't cost extra, but to get to here to here does. Mm -hmm. And I guess getting out of that's going to cost me an extra because it's swamp. Well, no, under the gold then. Yeah, freaky. Well, they're not gold, they're bronze. They're worse than yours. Oh. Yeah, you start off with awesome Never ones. mind. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> so I'll start with putting a guy in there to get one movement and a development. So I will move this guy over here and I will develop my yellow... Um, and then I'm going to put a guy in here, and I am going to, hmm, might as well get another movement so I can push him into here, instead of, uh, drawing a cube out the bag. And then this guy, I might as well, actually, you know what, before I do that, I do get to see what these are. Fog of War lifts. 
So there's a nice mountainous Ooh, a region. Mountain. That gives you stupid flying. That is so cool. But just one round, right? Just one flying. Yeah. Well, at least you don't have two stupid victory point tokens like you did last time. We two ghosts, please. We each have one. Excellent. I'm still going to grab this token <clears throat> to see what it is. I'll try not to look at it. And I will cash that in right now for a triple development. One, two, three. What were you complaining about? Oh, that's awesome. That was cool. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a blue cube here. I'm going to put an orange cube there. And I'm going to put a green cube here. Oh, I forgot to pull my cubes out. Yes, at the end of your I round, you pull your cubes. I could have been planning my whole move. Yep. It won't take me long. Well, I'm going to, let's see here. It's going to have to be this orange one anyway, because I want two of this. Mm -hmm. One, two. And then I have a yellow one and a red one. There's only so many places you can put a red one. I know I still have a purple in here. I should have a purple and a yellow, actually. So I'll and it costs two movement to get in there. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. So I'll put that there. Okay. And the yellow one. That one there, and I'm gonna get a yellow and a green cube. Ooh, nice! I have one cube, don't I? Yep. All right, my go. Mm -hmm. So the first thing I'm gonna do is a yellow cube there, which gives me one victory point, please. Oh, I only get the yellow ones. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, it also allows me to take one of these cards, and I think I'm going to take Expertise, because I like that. So I put that here. Can you see that? Not particularly. Oh, well. i just put that there and put this right here. Um, so that actually allows me to generate a cube from the bag. Two of them if I have them, but I only have one left. That draws do not go in my favor. There we go. So now I have a blue, a purple, and a red, and I'm going to reset at the end of this round. Booyah. Oh, and we got another card. And it is Outposts. So, um, a purple in any other color, and you get to clone one, and then it has a purple disc. Not really sure what that means. <laughs> you have to look it up. Let's consult the Book of Armaments. I really, really, really was counting on that stupid green cube to come out of the bag, and it did not come did out not. of the bag. <sighs> it's the symbol for the purple development disc, growth. Maybe you get to move one of your but things. It's, it's not a development, because then it would just have the symbol for oh, development. Right. Unless you can only develop purple. Hmm, maybe. That's what I mean. Like, maybe. you can only move this one or something on the track. We'll check. I'm just guessing. I'm not psychic or anything. I'm thinking that might be it. Weird. It's got to be I in the know. book. Show it on camera and maybe when it catches up they can tell us what it means. Maybe, yeah. It is the outpost card, and uh, cloning. It's 
this symbol right there it's the purple disc symbol for the growth development disc and it wasn't in that book at all no it's not but um i could always uh, consult the uh faq or something true yeah uh do you want me to do that before i finish my turn nope but you can finish your turn i'll look in the rule book while you're doing that and see if maybe you just missed it that's true okay so i got my three cubes what am i doing now well the first thing i'm going to do is purple to get another guy on the board and then I get a movement point. And I might as well move here because to go from here to here, one extra movement to get out of the swamp and one extra movement to get into the uh, um, mountains. So that's a lot. I'm not going to do that. And I got two cubes, a red and a blue. Hmm. I had a red and a green that would help. But a red and a blue? I don't think I can do much of anything with that. Red in any color allows me to fortify an attack. I can't do anything with that. Blue and two of any color would help me get another card, but I can't do that. I need two blue cubes to do expertise, so that doesn't help. So that is a real bummer, but I can't do anything. So these two become the wasted cubes. Really? Yeah, there's nothing I can do with blue oh, and red. Oh, because you have to reset. Yeah. So you can't just leave them. Yeah, so I'm going to reset. Oh, that's too bad. The new real bites you in the butt. Yep. Reset. This is peculiar. It's weird that that symbol's not in the book. Yeah. I mean, it's in the book, but it doesn't say what it means yeah. when it's on one of these I cards. think you might be right, except that there's no... Like, the development has that little... Yes. Yeah, yeah. It should it should almost have that. Yeah. I agree. There we go. I got my three cubes, so I am going to I'm done. Consult I the FAQ. Did my reset. And it is your go and I will consult the FAQ. Now I know I have one cube left in here. It's gonna give me a movement. So my turn's actually going to be really fast, Justin. That's okay. It won't take me long. Okay. So what I do, I put a purple cube here, and it lets me create a new person, and it, come, it comes in at my starting village. Now the only thing is it also creates me a fight. I have nothing to fight, so I actually have to waste that fight. And then I have two yellow cubes. So really the only thing I can do, because I know I have a green cube in the bag, because I would put it here if I knew I had a blue cube in the bag, but I don't. So I'm going to put it here and I just get one a victory point. Now I had these cute little pink crystals for another game when we upgraded some components. So I get pink victory crystals because I like pink. And that's my turn. I get to pull my green cube out of the bag, and that's it. I will be there in a moment. Yep. I'm loading up the uh, a file from the BGG that has just all the technology cards on it. That's helped me out before. So I will consult and that. And what did you say it was called again? The... I think it's Outposts. Yes, yep, that's what you said earlier. It's almost loaded. Are we in Halifax? No, we're not. <laughs> we're three and a half hours away from Halifax. In Yarmouth. Yarmouth, Nova Scotia. Will you try to get to Halifax every now and then so we can go to the boardroom game cafe? Because that is awesome. It's fun there, yeah. I like to be able to try the games before I buy them. Yeah. That's awesome. All right. Outposts. Oh, that's what that symbol is. Outposts is a starting technology for one of the races. The purple one. Oh, the purple one. So it's just, it's a, it's, it's just an, a reminder. an easy way to find it. Yeah. So really all it's good for is you get to clone something. Not that cloning... That's awesome. Cloning rules. Well, I know. Cl cloning rules. But that card lets you clone and that other symbol means that. 
Yeah. So how come if you're starting with this card, it doesn't have one of those symbols for you? Oh, I didn't. I bought this. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. I thought you started with one, but nope. no, you didn't. No, I started with this. When I buy a card, I get two extra cubes. I should pay better attention. Yeah. Because I want to win. What? No, I don't know. What did you, what did you Here do? Here you go. I pulled a cube out. Is it? Well, I put this purple one here, and I got to make a man here. Gotcha. But I couldn't find anyone, so that was oh, wasted. Yeah, yeah. And then bad. I had two yellow cubes left. And I would have put them here to get a card and a point, mm -hmm. but I knew I only had a green in the bag. So I put them here to get a point. And I got a point, one of my pink points. Oh, nice. And then I drew a green cube. And now it's your go. Cool. I have one, two, three, four. I got four cubes in the bag. Four. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to spend these two blue on expertise. And that's all the time, right? Yep. So for the rest that's of the game, annoying. the beginning of my turn, I get one extra cube out the bag. Yeah, yeah. But not when you draw. That's the beginning no, of your turn. No, that's correct. Yeah. Not uh, that it makes a difference. The next difference thing I'm things. going to do is I'm going to put a dude back in that city to get one movement. And one development, which will be blue. And I'm going to cash that in right now to get two blue cubes, please. I guess. Yes. Got to re, re, refill up my development, my science. Awesome. Um, I got a yellow cube. That yellow cube is going to go here. Because I am going to do that soon. Um, what else? I think I'm going to wait for that for now. So, I can put this guy in here and get this bonus. And I'll do that right now. So I get another development. And a cube out of the bag. And a cube out of the bag. <laughs> yes, yes. And it is green! Green! You need to flip those two stupid tiles. Oh, that's right, too. I forgot. So that's got to have a ghost on it. I have those. A city of triple development. And the center tile is mountains. <gasps> Whoa. Wow. A three stars. But you lose a, a person. Every time you use it. And you don't, we don't even need those. We've never really had those out before. Because it's a city, not a ruin. Right. But wow. Lose a guy and get three victory points. And it's a mountain, which makes it really hard to get to. So from here, say, yep. how would I get in there? It only costs one extra to get into a forest. So to go from here to here would still only cost you two movement. Okay. From here to here, still two movement. To go from here to here is three. Good. Yeah, that's not very cool. I'm excited about that. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> um, I am going to put green right here. Tricky. Because I want red later so that I can kill that ghost. Now, I could um, go in there to get a movement or get an extra cube, but you know what? I think I'm done. So I'm just going to draw my three cubes and I'll be done. Okay. So I place my one lonely green cube right there for two movement. And you said it's two movement for that? Two movement for that, yeah. And I get to see this. Oh, nice, nice. It's Another just city. a ghost. So pull a cube and get a double development. Nice. Cool. So it only costs you one movement to get into there. Because it doesn't cost extra to get out of a forest. Okay. So one to get into there, two to get into there, and one to get into there. Yeah. But it's two to get in and out of there, which is crazy. Once you're in there, you're not going to want to leave. But the cool thing, too, is if you're in here, going from here to here is still just one. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. It's kind of neat you're on the same level yeah so that's it i reset okay nice it's gonna be interesting i think the longer game is gonna make this a Better. lot different yeah oh and i get to pull some cubies yep, yep, yep. so it's the beginning of my turn i actually get a cube <laughs> how many have i got left i got two good I'm going to have to like get some more cubes yeah, or something. Get cubes or go. just take one in the end like I did. It's not the end of the world, you know. <laughs> so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a blue one right here. 
and I'm going to put a blue one right here. And then I'm going to do that to get a star. Lame. Well, actually, I don't, I don't take it off. I don't know why I was doing that. And I get a technology, which is going to allow me to pull two cubes out of my bag. <laughs> so what technology shall I get? I'm not good at figuring out all the synergies. And the synergies, I, that's what I love about this game. The synergies that you can start, like, chaining events yeah it's it gonna, is awesome it would take me a lot of plays to like get used to that because i get so focused on one thing mm. that i don't multitask very well um okay so i need to take a technology and i'm gonna wipe out citadels and phalanx because what you can do is you can always when you get a technology you can wipe one of them out and put two more out and then when you put those two out... So stupid flying over there? Yes. Um, you don't even have to take from that. You can just be like, I don't like them, or I want to see what comes up, or whatever. Or I want to block them from someone else. Yeah. So flying war mounts is worth two points. It costs one red and two green to get one attack and two flying movement. Wow. Yeah. That's almost not worth it until later in the game. Yeah. Because that's heavy cubes right there. Yeah. Uh, weapons forging is worth one point, and it's a red cu cube for an attack, which is not bad. Huge cities, purple. Hmm. I might actually take outposts. Really? Yeah, except that it's not worth any points, which really sucks. That's a crying shame. And you know what? When I took my... I forgot to take a gray cube. I'm going to put it in my bag right now. Oh, that was... See, we had them on there before. Yeah, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna put them on there because I forgot. On there. Because that should have messed up my turn a little bit. Yes, it sure should have. So that's why I put it in here. I think you should give away one of your victory points for that. No. Egregious error. No. Yeah. But I will put it in here because I'm about to get a cube, and it could be the gray one. And it also means that I don't get to reset this turn. Or actually, no, I get two cubes. I'm gonna give them both. Can't I? <laughs> You get another cube for taken. No, I get two cubes. But you know what? No, I'm gonna... you get that cube you just took in your bed. Oh no, it goes stupid yeah, there. Goes Never there. mind. So that was that was my. I'm sorry, I messed up as I put it in my bag, but it really didn't matter. Anyway, I'm gonna take outposts. This will be my other kind of forgive me thing because it's it's worth no points. Good. Now we have colonization. Um, wow. Two purple cubes do what? Infinity, and whenever you get a, like, growth, it's a clone instead. No. No, wow. Awesome. Should be worth two victory points. That's crazy. No, it's powerful, so it's only worth one. Oh. That's cool. Anyway, so I, I got my two it, cubes. I so it should be worth two. Got my two cubes. Gray ones with you, useless. So now I've got a red and a purple and an orange. So I can do the red here, and that generates one movement, and it generates one attack. So I'm going to attack this guy and kill it, and that ghost goes in the graveyard. And the movement is going to be this guy to go here. And then he's going to go in here and give me a star. And then I got a purple and an orange. What can I do with a purple and orange? I could get two developments, or I could get a purple and a multicolor, which would give me a new dude on the table and a fortification. But I think I'm going to put orange and a purple, and I will get two developments. And I am done, so I shall reset. Okay. First things first, I'm going to move this man in here so I can look at this dooficky. Mm -hmm. I'm going to cash that in promptly for three of these. One, two, three. Nice. So that's over there. Cool. The very next thing I do is put him in here, mm -hmm. which I can develop one thing. Yep. And a movement. Yep. Um, I'm gonna, can I, you said I can save my movement, right? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna develop, I don't know, if 
feel like I might need some more orange. I'll develop that. Okay. Oh, I forgot to draw my cubes. Duh. And then I'll put this person in here and yep. take two movement with this man right here. Oh, wow. Cool. And then I put this here and here. Oops, there and there. So I get to generate a man. Yep. And an attack. <laughs> there you go. And then he goes in there, so I lose a man. Yep. Now does he go back to my supply? or? Everybody? Oh, yeah, he goes to your supply. Okay. Yep. And you get three stars. Wow. That is crazy. There might be some fighting over that. There might be. Yep, I think there will be. And my yellow cube is going to go right here. And then I'll do this. Done. All right. Yep. I'm going to take my extra cube. It is orange. All right. What am I going to do now? Well, hmm. Let's reset this and get two yellow cubes, please. Two yellow cubes coming right up. Into the bag they go. How many cubes do I have in my bag? A few. I might as well do this right off the bat. Yellow, blue, for a star. <laughs> and a new that. technology! Didn't you just do that last time? This is such a cool strategy. I love it. I'm just like, you know what? I'm just going to sit back and develop. So. I'm getting an awful lot of gray cubes, so I can get black market, which allows me to put a cube back into my bag. Or bureaucracy, which allows me to pull a cube out of my bag. Um, where do you put your cube from? Like, on anywhere on your player board? This is cool. This, I didn't know this before, and I just read it, because it was in the FAQ. So let's say I did this ability. I could take this cube and put it back in my bag. No friggin' way. And then... Later on when I drop back out, no! I can do it again. <laughs> that's not... That's broken. I don't think it's broken. It is if you win the game by 600 points. Well, I don't think that'll happen. It's only worth one point. Yeah. Um, but I'm also thinking about universities. One orange cube forever, and every round you get one development. I really like that. You have an awful lot of gray cubes, so that you can't use. Yeah, and that's why I was kind of looking at the whole black market bureaucracy thing. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take these off. I'm going to wipe these and see if something better comes along. <laughs> we have bastions. Oh, my. And smugglers. Holy big amounts of cubes. So, a red, an orange, and a gray permanently in every round, you generate two fortifications. That is cool. Um, I don't know how much I'm going to need that, but that is still pretty cool. Smugglers are gray and two of any color. And you get to take a cube out of the bag and then put a cube back in the bag. Hmm. So what do I take? The only reason I'm not taking flying mounts is because I have not developed red or green at all. I'm going to take universities. I'm just going to go for the whole smarts thing. That's yeah. what I'm going to go for. Go for it. So now we have the Halls of Knowledge. Which is a blue and, a, and any color to get another card. That's cool. Really? Wow, that is powerful. Yeah. So now I have a red cube. I also have a bunch of other stuff I can do because I haven't moved any of my guys and cities and stuff. Excuse me. I'm going to put red here. That'll work. Oh, and I get two cubes because I just got a card. How wonderful. Yay, it's gray. Gray. Lard. Sucks. And a blue one. Hmm. I'll put the blue one here for when I get a purple later. And I 
think. I'll move this guy in here and get a star. And that shall be my turn. My okay. turn is done. So my turn is going to be this, this, and this. So I get a star and a card. And I think I'm going to take the one where when you generate your people, you get cloning. The colonization. Mm -hmm. Here you go. Thanks. And I guess I'll just put it up here. Yep. So now we have monasteries. And a great cube, please. And I draw my cubes, and then that's my turn. Okay. Which means I get to draw a cube. So monasteries is purple, orange, and in a color. You lose a guy, but you gain a cube of any color and three developments. There we go. So I got a gray cube, which is useless. I'll put it there. It's a misshapen little gray cube. That's kind of odd. So I was waiting for purple, and I was waiting for green. So I've got those both. I also have yellow, and I only have one more cube, and that cube would be the oh, color those are infinity. of blue, I believe. No, it wouldn't be blue. It would be... Man, what color is that? I can't even remember what color that is. What? Well, I got one cube in here, I believe. Yeah, I got one cube. Green, purple, red, and orange. I've got my four blue, and I've got my two. Oh, it's yellow. The last cube's yellow. Okay. All right, so what I should be doing is I should be developing, but that's not going to happen anytime soon. So I shall do this. Green. Yikes, where are you attacking? Well, it gives me a movement, and it gives me an attack. I'm going to move here and attack because that will help me develop, which is what I really want. And then I might as well go in there and get a triple development. One, two, three. Then I can go in here and get a movement and another development and a movement. But there's nowhere I can you really can't move. You can move because no. you're in that swamp. But I can do this, and I can clone, and I will clone right here. Yikes. I still can't move anywhere, because I only have one movement, so that doesn't help, but I got a new guy out on the board. Um, I'm actually going to cash this in for two green cubes, please. So now... I've got a yellow cube that I don't think I can do much. And I've got a yellow and two green that are going to come out. A yellow and two green. What can I do with that? Well, How can... many to get into the mountains? Uh, it cost me two movement to get into the mountains. So I'm going to put my yellow there. And I shall end my turn. Okay, so mine are going to have to be this and this. So I get an extra person. Okay. And a movement of one. Yep. And a green cube. You need to develop for purple so you can get that colonization thing I going. know. But I'm not going to be able to use this green cube, so I'm not really sure where to even put it. Because I only have one cube in my bag. Hmm. Oh. 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 Uh oh. I'll put it here and I'll take that red cube. There you go. A movement and an attack. So you're going to move for one movement point. I can't. Somewhere to attack me, probably. My go. I don't have any more cubes mm -hmm. in my bag, so I can't draw my free cube. Oh, but you said it was. Not one to get out of the mountain? One extra to get out of a mountain. To go into yeah, see, or I out of a mountain is one extra. I wouldn't be able to attack you. No. Well, that's good. I don't like to be attacked. No, well, you're going to attack me, so I don't I know why you... I don't know about that. Maybe I will. Maybe I just won't. 
Um, what am I doing here? I've got two green and I've got a yellow. So I wanted to do that to get two movement points so that I can move him into the mountains. Oh, I thought you were going to come and get my three star points. No, because I kind of, yeah, it gives you a lot of points, but you haven't used it a lot because it costs you guys. Right. Which is rough. And I can only use it once every reset. Yeah. So I'm thinking, and you know, now that I'm in the mountains, going from there, there's only one. So maybe next round, but that flight mm -hmm. is kind of cool. So now I got a green and a yellow. A yellow. Well, I might as well just do this and get a star. And then I do a reset. So now it's me. It is indeed your turn. Now I was thinking, I forgot it costs me extra movement to go into a forest. So this happens again. I use this and I have movement and attack and it's wasted. Mm. My attack is wasted. Yeah. Then my orange cube can go here and I get a star. And a development. And a development. So I need purple. Nice. So I reset. And you reset? Oh, I didn't draw cubes out. I keep forgetting to draw my cubes out. Dumb. Well, and my turns are so fast. One, two, three. And then begin my turn, I get one more. There we go. So the first thing I'm going to do is this. I'm going to use my orange cube to... I'm going to move outposts so it doesn't mess this up. But I'm going to activate my universities so that for the rest of the game... I get a free development every round, which is awesome. Frustrating. Awesome. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> and then I'm going to red and green for a movement. And an attack. I shall attack this guy and take that. It's one movement. I'll go here and get a development. And another movement to move this guy out, since that is now useless. So that cost me my two movement. Might as well get a star. Might as well. Might as well get a triple development. I like that. That's cool. And then I get a blue. What can I use the blue left for? Well, I might as well work on another technology. You're go sweetie okay well, let me think um, here for a minute two, three Blarg. well i think i decided i was gonna do i'll do that after first of all I'll put him in there and i'll get a movement and i'll put him in there so i can get a movement and a development Mm -hmm. Develop purple, and I have two movements, so I'll move him in there. Nice. Then, I'm going to um, do this so that I can have an attack and a new guy. Yep. Hello. What's up? And then, I'm going to... I have extra red in there, don't I? Then I'm going to put my green one right there. I can't forget to do that. Yeah, three stars and lose a dude. I think that's my turn. That's your turn? Yeah. Okay. So, beginning my turn. When did I get that? Was that supposed to be in my bag on my reset? Probably. Well, I guess I have to put it in now. Whoops, sorry. Kay. I guess that makes up for when you didn't have one in your bag. Possibly. So I'll do that. 
All right. Gray cubes useless. Yellow. Right, la. And now I have a yellow and a blue. So I think, how many cubes do I got left? Quite a few, actually. That's good. Excellent. I like that. Ah, that's what I'll do. I'll use... Is there anything blue is really... No, I'm going to use my blue. Do that. So I get a star, please. Mm -hmm. And then I get a technology, and I'm going to get bastions, because I'm wondering if eventually you're going to like reach out and like attack me. Because this is going to be a longer game. Which gave me a gray cube. How many technologies until... Until I get a... Ooh, craftsmanship. A gray and an orange. A star. When you get a star, it also means you get one development. Ho, ho, ho. Um, you get, when you have five technologies, it, it's uh, one of the end conditions. Yeah, that's what I was at. Do you have five? I have four. And that allows me to pull two cubes out of the bag. Awesome. And what do you know? That's what I wanted. Purple. Why aren't you so excited? I'm a little excited, yeah. <laughs> I'll use the yellow because I want to save my green. And that allows me to clone. And then I can put this guy in here to give him flying to go there. And then I'm going to put green right here. And I'm done. Here you go. Okay. I'm going to put my red one here. Mm -hmm. One movement, he can go there. Yep, and an attack. He kills him. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. Yeah, triple development. It's just one, two, three. Yep. Do it up. And then I have a yellow and an orange. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yellow, orange. Yep. That's Star. happier than I thought. And then... And that development you needed to get two purple. Some movement. It would be nice. One, two, three. Ooh, that makes me happy. Oh man, you're gonna start colonizing. And I forgot to draw my cubes again. Again? Done. Yep. All the time. People are gonna be on at the screen. Pull your cubes! There's my four. Alright, so I get one development, it will be orange. But I'm not going to do that right now. I want that color. Two gray, which is useless for me right now. And then I get a green and a yellow. Crap. I didn't realize I had already used my red. That is a bummer. Because now I can't attack. And I really wanted oh, to. I'm crying for you. Yep. Kaylee, do not jump on that. Just stay where you are. If you knock over our microphone, that's not going to be funny. Well... Maybe. It would be funny to the viewers. Oh, well, it wouldn't be funny for our technology. <laughs> Let's do that for a star, please. Okay. It would be unfunny if our microphone bro broke. Mm. So, that is a reset for me. So, reset, 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 reset. And then all my cubes back in the bag. My turn is going to be very fast. My turn? Your turn. Right there. Colonization activated. Right Doo -doo -doo -doo. here. Get my three cubes. I have four cubes in the bag. One of them's... Oh, no, I think I have five. Get my extra cube at the beginning of my turn. Dang. And then, you know what? I'm gray. going to... Div my free development is going to be red. I need to get some red going. And I'm actually going to cash this in for two orange, please. Alright, now I've got blue, 
two green and a purple. Hmm. And I've reset, so I've gotten a whole bunch of things. I am going to get a triple development. One, two, three. I'm going to get a star. Do you have 15 stars yet? No. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I've got ten. I think I have ten. Yep. Nice. But I have less development cards than you. Bugger. Definitely going to have a purple I, here. I don't think I'm good at this game. I don't know about that. We'll see. You seem to be doing okay. you got to do some more attacking and get some of that cool stuff. See, it's my movement I'm having an issue with because of those forests. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that forest kind of... And it was movement with me the last game, too. Yeah. I'm going to put this guy in here and get another cube. But it doesn't help that I'm using that three stars and I get rid of a person. Because that's one last person to be doing stuff with. Put that there for now. And I might as well put a guy in here and get another development for red. Might as well. Um, there's a movement, but there's nowhere I want to move. Although I could develop this one movement. Put a green here. And it'll allow me to clone someone. Might as well clone someone there. And then use my one movement to come into here. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Whoa, hey there! I'm here now. Didn't see me there, did ya? I was just formulating a plan. <laughs> I think this game is a foregone conclusion. Oh, that's funny. I'll put my green... No, I'm going to put blue here. And I'll put my green here. And that is my turn. My turn's lame. Now, I also had a question. Yes. Which I probably shouldn't ask right before you go. Because, What's your question? Well. It's your go. I know. I already oh, went. <laughs> wow, it's okay. Your, your turn. <laughs> I had a gray cube and I had these two cubes. Okay. And I really couldn't have put them anywhere else. What's so, your question? Do you want to wait till my turn's done? Yes. Okay. What, gray I can't do anything with. Yellow I can. I get star? Coming right up. Um, and I get another technology, and I'm just going to take weapon forging. I liked that one. Archery. Ooh. Green and a red for a ranged weapon attack. So how many squares do you fire over for that? I think it's just one, but let me check. We've never and actually played. When range came out. With range. But another question would be, if it costs extra to shoot or move into a forest, it should cost extra to <laughs> shoot into a forest. All right. Each ranged attack effect generates one ranged attack point for the active player. For every ranged attack point, the player may remove one ghost or one opponent located on a hexagon adjacent. Contrary to the attack effect, the ranged attack effect does not generate victory points for the kill. The ghost is put back in the box with the miniatures placed back in the original owner's reserve. So, what? you don't actually get points for the kill. You use your range and then put someone back in the box. Well, like, if I killed a ghost, I'd put it here for points. If I use range, it just goes away. Okay. And if I kill you, I would put it here for points. Range, I would just give it back to you. And it's one adjacent? Or? Oh, my God. Yeah, one adjacent no, no. hex. That's for the new card. Oh, thank you. You could have just let me take that. <laughs> I should have. Yeah. No, no, you, you go ahead, take that. Yeah. Yeah, so, like, you could be here and kill someone in here. You just wouldn't get points for it, which is kind of lame. But, I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, I don't I don't get it yet until it happens. Yeah. I get it, how to do that. Yeah. But why is ranged an advantage then? Oh, and I get two cubed because I just got a card. Oh, that's marvelous. Yep. Which is good because I didn't really know what else I was going to do there. Hello, orange and green. What can I do with orange? Orange I shall put here. Because hopefully that's going to happen soon. And green. Green and blue. What can I do with green or blue? Goodness. 
not a whole lot. Um, green in any color will give me two movements. That's useless. Or you could get out of that mountain. I don't need to get out of that mountain. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. I'm perfectly fine there. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. So I'm going to put blue here. And I guess I'll just put green here. And maybe I can get another card this turn. Oh, yay, maybe. Here we go. Okay. My question is about that star and you get an advancement. Right? Every time you get a star, you get an advancement. This year? Yes. What if you get three stars in one turn? That is... Ooh, that is a good, that's a good question. All yeah. right. Let me double check it. Because I didn't want to ask before you bought a card. Because <laughs> then you'd buy that one. Oh, you're right. Snag. Um, okay, where is the arrow? Yes. So, any time you generate... Um, a star, you also generate plus one development. So when so, yeah. I go there, I get three development. Oh, yeah. Hello. So I buy that, and I get a star. Yep. And it's infinity. Nice and nice. Yep. Just need an orange and a gray. And then here I go, and I get a star. Nice. What are you at? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Nice. And then I have no more cubes in my bag, so it's a reset. Okay. Oops, sorry, I guess you died. <laughs> a little passive aggressive, <laughs> methinks, but okay. <laughs> Oy. All right. And. Oh, a uh, gray cube, please, when you're done pulling your cubes. To put on cartography. A gray and a green will get you a cube out the bag and a movement point. That's interesting. All right, so I got my cubes. I got the red one, which could get me my fortification going, but I don't think that's actually what's going to happen. Oh, and actually, before I do anything, I get my extra cube. Ooh, that's my last cube. Reset! So, got my extra cube. Got my free moving forward. So this is tricky. This is going to be a reset. No, I do have a cube left. I have, I have like a couple of cubes left. Never mind. Crap. So not going to be a reset. Which is actually good. Because I'm going to do this and get two red cubes. And that way I'll make sure I'll have that red cube before I reset, because I really want to do this and kill you. <laughs> what the fudgy wackies? <laughs> you have been destroyed. Dislike. Oh, that felt good. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, that makes me cranky. So I can go in there, but one of my guys is going to die. Mm -hmm. Ah, it's worth it. Damn it. Thank you. Oh. Now I got one orange cube left. What can I do with an orange cube? I can do this and get myself a card. Which is going to give me two cubes. <laughs> oh, and I forgot. I got five cards, so I was supposed to take one of those. I forgot about that. Sorry. My bad. I'm going to wipe these two because I don't like them. Mysticism. Ooh. Treachery. Ooh. Treachery, you give up one of your dudes, but somebody else adjacent will give up one of theirs. Mysticism is a gray and a blue forever, and every time you get a star, you get to pull a cube out of the bag. I like. I'm running out of room for all my awesome technology things. 
Oh, when my wallet's too big for my hundreds and my diamond shoes are too tight. <laughs> my diamond shoes are too tight. <laughs> All right, so two cubes out of the bag, and they are red and they are a yellow. So I will do red, and I will activate that. So at the beginning of my round, I get two fortifications. And then my yellow, how many cubes are in there? Two. So I will put yellow right there. And it is your go. Oops. How many victory points do you have? You don't have 15, do you? I need one more. How many did you get into the mountain again? Two. Movement and this. Movement and this. Ooh, ouch. No, no, no! Actually, you can clone that guy now that you have colonization. Actually, you get to keep that guy. Yeah. I get to clone so him this guy doesn't have to be here. He can be anywhere you already have guys. Oh. Yeah. And he goes back into the supply because I used that three. Oh, yeah, yeah. Which yep. are my last three. So you got 15? Yeah, by the way. Nice. There and you go. then I have a green cube. But I think I just ended the game, so. How did you just end the game? I have 15. But you need two of them. And we're doing a medium. Oh, I need two? Yes, one player needs two. Oh, I thought just two had to be... Let me check. Maybe, maybe no, that's no, right. No, I misunderstood probably. Well, no, that, that that would definitely be a like one way to interpret it. I interpreted it as one player needs two, but maybe you are right. Let us check to make sure. Where are they? Um, okay, game setup. Uh, race effects, ruins... The player turn, how to play. That'd be a bummer if you just finished it. I was like going to do a whole bunch of more cool stuff. Here we go. All right. In a short game, anytime a player during their turn can fulfill one of the following conditions, they immediately gain the objective child, conclude the turn. All other players will be allowed to play their turn. In a medium game? In a regular game, the end of game conditions can be fulfilled. Must be two out of the possible three. They can be fulfilled by the same player or by two or more different players. Nice. So, I'm going to get like one turn to go and then we're done. Yeah, so my green... And I'm not going to get a reset. Bummer. And my green cube is pretty much whatever. Yeah. Okay. So this is my go, mm -hmm. and I've only got two cubes. I don't get any extras or bonuses, so what can I do? Not much. You can get one I know. victory point. Not much at all. And that's it. But. Or you can get one attack. I can do this and fly him here. You've got to be kidding me. And then me. I can do red and yellow and kill this guy off and give him back to you and take a victory point. <laughs> you can't kill a guy in the castle? In the castle? And go in the castle? I could. And then I didn't even think of that. Victory points? I didn't even think of that. Okay. That's leave right. it that That's way. That's what I did. And that was my turn. Okay. And technically, I should have gotten a development... And I should have gotten two fortifications, but none of those are actually helpful, so that's, that's done. Um, and that was actually 15, so I get that too. Oh, that's so exciting. Yay! We're uh, done! Where's the score paper? Score paper! Do you get a pencil? Nope. Gonna get a paper, paper, pencil. I have a feeling we don't even have to count the points. I don't know. I I've only got 15 points plus... Three for my cards, and I don't even get points for him because you're in there. Yeah. And you've got more ghosts than me. I know. I have a feeling like I'm gonna probably check out maybe the FAQ on the player powers, because so far the two games that I've won, well, I'm assuming I won this one. <laughs> maybe I shouldn't do that, but count your points first. Like the powers that I seem to get seem to be really awesome. And maybe I just don't utilize mine to their fullest potential. Maybe. I forgot to even do that the whole yeah. game. 
So it'll be interesting and to see. And didn't even do his secret power one time. No, it'll be interesting, like dumb. at the end of the game, to see how many. Maybe those two points would have helped. So we'll we'll see. All right. So first we have. Um, I'll go under blue because I was blue actually, and you were yellow. That's funny. All right, so first of all, we count up our stars. We both got 15, right? I think two, four. Oh, yeah, because I only have 15 pink cubes or pink stars. Yep. Uh, then we calculate ghosts in the graveyard. And there's a weird point system for that. So, three ghosts and two ghosts. So, you get three and I get six points. Um, one point for each for that, which is all we ever get in a two-player game. The number of cubes that we have. I think you have more cubes than me. How did you get? Thirteen. Um, I get you get two. Yeah, I had seventeen. Uh, you get two points for a goal. I get four. Uh, and then the cards that we got the science cards. I have three points. I got five. And then you have one, two, three, and that's contested, so you got three points. Oh, I've miserable. got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, every single one, you're higher than me. Yeah. I get one. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even have to count. You got 40 points. Is that my lowest score ever? Yep. They're probably screaming at the television. <laughs> Use your special ability! <laughs> well, somebody could have posted on the chat. Oh, Unless the screen's frozen. I don't know if it's frozen or not. I don't see any comments. See, I told you yellow is a stupid color. And I got 55. 15 points? I think so. But. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, 23, 24, 35, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, 55. Well, the game before, though, you beat me by 19. So at least uh, you only beat me by yeah. 15 this time. Yeah. But the first game. I won the first game. Yeah, with 50 points to my 44. That seems to be a trend, though. I win the first game, usually, that we play, and mm -hmm. then he always wins after. We shall see. We shall see. So that's Hyperborea. Yep, Hyperborea. And it's funny because we didn't introduce ourselves at the beginning of this video because we just restarted it so fast. No, that's true. But by the way, we're Sweethearts are Rivals. I'm Sharla. <laughs> I'm Justin. <laughs> Thanks for watching. All right. We out. Laters. We'll be back in two weeks for another Twitch Tuesday. Yep. And if we just Twitch random, well, that's another day too. Yep.